All right, all right, all right. Number one says nothing will change as long as big money runs the show. So this is really the foundation of all of our contempt for what's really going on, right? So let, let, let's talk about this. So nothing will change as long as big money runs the show. We must enact the constitutional amendment that says corporations are not people and money is not speech. You alluded to this earlier. And it's not going to be easy. And, and one, one of the jokes that Corey made to me when I talked about this before was that say that I say, oh, it's not going to be easy. We're going to try this thing. It's not going to be easy. And, and Corey yeah. was like, every time I talk about, oh, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. Yeah, that was a thing. <laughs> uh, I, I have one thing to just say, too. So this is um, based on the, the um, Move to Amend movement. And so they have this um, on their website there. Uh, and it's basically an example of, of what this constitutional amendment would be. And one of the things that I love about it is that it's very simple. It's very mm -hmm. short. It's very easy to understand. Uh, I, I think that a lot of laws are written overly complicated uh, as a way to keep people out of the legal process and to keep them in the dark. My opinion is if you need a law degree to understand a law, then that there is a bad law and it's going to be used to manipulate against people. So when we're talking about anything like this, I, I just think it's really important that we are going to keep it you know short simple i yeah i honestly think that uh if you cannot read that bill or law with i say a 10th grade education at the very least then number one you need to get yourself to a 10th grade leading reading level number one that takes systemic change but number two if you can can't read that at a 10th grade le reading level then I say then you need to rewrite it so that people can understand because there's a lot of us I, from what I read there was a statistic that a, like a huge chunk of the country can't read past the sixth grade le reading level um that's also I think part of the issue that the system perpetuates but yeah that was a really good point that if people can't understand the law that they're reading without that level of education then no it, it shouldn't be written that way and it needs to be put in a way language that people understand so that they know what's going on but this actually goes into uh government secrets and governments hiding things from the people and doing things in their name that they shouldn't be doing and then we can get to julian assange and mimad abu jamal you know and edward snowden and all these different things that have happened but yeah i just want to say all that that i agree with you yeah, thank you. And um, yeah, demand radical transparency is a point on this. And, and that's definitely a, a big part of, of that, something that we do not have right now. You want to show the amendment? If you want to show my screen? This is the move to amend. Uh, mm -hmm. We're the people. And I just wanted to, to, to show it quickly to show how simple it is. Mm -hmm. You know, section one, corporations do not have people, rights protected, are the rights of natural persons only, artificial entities, uh, privileges shall be determined by the people. Section one, done. Section two, money is not free speech and governments shall be able to regulate uh, federal state, you know, expenditures must be publicly disclosed. Judiciary shall not construe, construe the, the spending to, be, to, uh, to apply to free speech. Section two, done. Section three, nothing shall be construed to bridge freedom of press. Amendment, done. Wow. It, it's beautifully simple. Uh, yeah. And it's one of those things you would think that you could put out there, you could fit it on a sign and say, you know, get this done. Now, it's not an easy process. The, um, you know, amending the U.S. Constitution is, you know, it's been done and it's doable. But, you know, as we say, it's not it's not easy and it's going to have to be something we demand and, and make happen. Yeah, that is amazingly simple, <laughs> but at the same time, it's straight to the point no sugar coating so yeah that's that's really great i like this ban revolving door politics investigate prosecute companies that use jobs as bribes disallow former high-ranking employees serving as representatives or lobbyists now this reminds me of funny enough when matt gates actually came out and talked about something similar to this about banning politicians from becoming lobbyists as well as banning them from having any money 
or using any money or investing in stock markets and things like that. So it came from Matt Gates of all people, but unfortunately he was correct. It's all part of the game. You know, Matt Gates isn't our friend, but of course, you know, they're all, they're all in the, in the same corrupt uniparty. And part of the game is you have little outliers who say things, you know, they don't really mean it, but, but yeah. they, they say it and they stir things up and they, and they go on with business as usual. If you have a strong demand that just says, you know, fix this at the constitutional level, then, then when they're not doing that, you know, they're not serious. Of course. I mean, Matt Gates saying all the things that he said is the equivalent of saying, I love you just to get in my pants. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> so. Yeah, don't, don't, don't go with him. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. But yeah, that, that political class, is it's it's incestuous. I know Sabi Sabs on our podcast the other day t- touched into it. If you connect the dots mm. to see what the military industrial complex executives are connected to, they're oh, usually yeah. former White House staffers, and it's this... Yeah. Um, patronage politics it's you fall in line and you will get rewarded and that's one thing i think about is a a lot of really really intelligent people go into Mm -hmm. finance yeah because that's where the incentive is you know and they they, and and they they continue to do this so so instead of these intelligent educated people going into efforts that that might benefit society they are called to finance they're called to politics and it's all part of this game so even that kind of uh power is being sapped away from uh, from a potential movement yeah, which is one of the reasons why I'm grateful for people like Dr. Richard Wolf for educating us as far as economics is concerned, which is it's wonderful. Agreed.